and welcome to Community Meditation. This is a live streamed weekly meditation class. My name is Jana. I teach meditation in Southern California um, at a number of studios, Equinox, Unplugged Meditation, Raw Yoga, as well as privately and with corporations and treatment centers. And I know that not everyone has access to a meditation teacher in person, so I offer these free live streamed classes. Um, my goal is to have this become the largest weekly um, gathering of meditators in the world. So hopefully you can help us to spread the word and you'll be able to participate every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. I'd like to continue with where we left off last week, and that is working with identifying benefactor moments. These meditations um, are called meditations of innate compassion and wisdom. And they evoke within us our inner wisdom and compassion. They're very practical uh, meditations. Working with so many people who are in helping professions, I see a really high rate of burnout. But these meditations can help us learn to um, commune with others in such a way that we become a healing presence and do not suffer from burnout. So the benefactor moment is kind of a window into something that is happening all of the time. And usually we're sort of um, so busy that we're ignoring it. We don't see these moments or maybe we've never been taught how to identify these types of moments. But there's a lot available to us when we begin to notice them. So the practice tonight is to identify one of these moments and I'll explain the whole thing to you. And then rest in receiving that moment so let's talk about a couple of terms that I'll be using. One is love. And tonight, what I mean by love is the power to commune with people and the goodness of their being while wishing them deeply well. The power to commune with people and the goodness of their being while wishing them deeply well. The next word is benefactors. And benefactors are those who have quietly extended love to you, often in little moments long forgotten. So benefactors are the people who have communed with you in the goodness of your being while wishing you do deeply well. And they typically don't say to you, my wish for you is to be deeply well, but they connect with us through their eyes or their smile or just a, a quiet, caring presence. And a benefactor moment is a moment you can recall when someone was with you in such a way, taking joy in you, perhaps in a moment of laughter or care, deep listening to you, or just that quiet, caring presence. And if it makes you happy to recall such a moment, then it's appropriate to use for the meditation. Come here, Johnny. Johnny is my bull mastiff who likes to chime in whenever we're doing community meditation. We see all those videos of people doing yoga with their dogs, but even meditation teachers have dogs who like to join in on the practice. Hey. Yeah. Come here. Thank you. So why would we practice receiving these moments? To receive and extend love helps the mind to relax into its most natural state. In a wisdom of openness, inner tranquility, and simplicity. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes. Okay. So to receive and extend love help them, helps the mind to relax into its most natural state. A wisdom of openness, inner tranquility, and simplicity. And by resting in its natural state, the mind can further in, unleash its capacity for love. This is an underlying capacity that we're just unleashing. As the unity of love and wisdom unfolds, we can become more fully present to others, communing with them in their fuller humanity instead of reacting from habitual judgments. So, We'll start with 
recalling a moment when you were with someone and you felt happy, safe, and loved, a benefactor moment. And this could be with someone from any time in your life, maybe from your childhood or present day. It could be a younger or older family member, a teacher or a mentor, a coach. It might even be a stranger who offered you a smile just when you needed it in such a way that you have the sense that they saw into your fuller humanity. So just take a moment to think about one of these benefactor moments. And if you've done these meditations with me in the past, I know that we all come up with our like old reliable benefactor moments that we go back to. But see if you can come up with a new moment this evening. Maybe something that happened today. And if you have difficulty thinking of a person, you can think of a moment with a pet. Or you can think of a benefactor moment as a special place in nature where you felt blessed, at home, deeply well. A benefactor moment may also be a time that you felt blessed by the presence or words of a spiritual figure, such as the Buddha, Jesus, Martin Luther King, Mother Teresa, or many of you in Southern California went to teachings with the Dalai Lama just a few weeks ago. So now sit in a relaxed way with your back comfortably straight, eyes gazing gently downward. Let's do three deep and cleansing breaths. These are called vase breaths. If this kind of breathing is new to you, then place one hand on the low belly and the other hand on the chest. You'll breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale to fill the belly all of the way. Feel the belly push out that lower hand. Hold at the top. Continue to hold the breath as you feel all of your thoughts and feelings trickle down into the low belly. Still holding the breath. Then release through the mouth. Inhale to fill the belly. Hold thoughts and feelings pouring down into the low belly. And release. Inhale. Hold. Release. Rest palms facing down on your knees. Just breathe naturally. Noticing the effects of the vase breath. Now recall a benefactor moment and imagine that person present to you now in that way. Consider that moment is happening right now. Not just as a memory from the past. Now 
Imagine this person communing with you now in the goodness of your very being. Your unconditional worth and potential. Beyond limiting judgments. Taking joy in you. Wishing you deeply well. And feel the happiness of holding this person in mind. Opening, accepting, letting him or her commune with you in the depth of your being, wishing you well. Imagine that loving wish for you is a gentle healing energy that permeates your whole body and mind. Explore just opening and accepting this shower of radiance. Like a puppy lying on a rug in sunlight. Receive this gentle energy into every part of your body. letting physical tensions soften under its touch. Receive this energy into every cell, into every drop of blood, every part of you loved in its very being. Now receive this gentle, loving energy into every part of your mind. 
every feeling of worry, tension, frustration, longing, sadness, anger, even joy. Let any such feelings come up and be embraced in this energy. Let every thought and feeling, even as it arises, be permeated by this healing energy. Every part of you loved in its very being. Relax into that feeling of loving energy and kindness. Without holding on to any vision of anything, Just merge into oneness with that gentle energy. Let the mind release all its frameworks. Relax and fall completely open. With all senses open, let the mind be completely unconfined, unrestricted, wide open. Let this expanse of openness and awareness itself do the knowing, the meditating. Let all patterns of thought and feeling that arise in this openness of mind just unwind 
and release. Like patterns on water. Letting all be. And just allow the atmosphere of the meditation to resonate. Enjoying this place of in between. And as you're ready, joining me to dedicate the merit that we've generated every time you meditate <clears throat> with intention, we generate merit that can be shared. And traditionally, this merit is dedicated to the well being of all or the enlightenment of all. And so, with the sound of the bell, you can dedicate the merit. It's just like blowing out the candles on a birthday cake with sincerest intention, making a wish. <clears throat> I thank you all for being here and hope to see you again next Wednesday. Please help us to spread the word, posting on Facebook and um, Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash the Jana Genova. And on Instagram, it's Instagram slash meditate with Jana. Jana is J-O-N-A. 
If you'd like to learn more about me or these meditations, you can go to samadhiforpeace.com and that link is below. Throughout your week, touch in on these practices frequently, noticing the benefactor moments as they happen and allowing yourself to receive those moments. It can be a little awkward or uncomfortable when someone looks us in the eye, but when you feel that discomfort arise, see if you can relax it and just receive this loving wish for your well-being. Receiving it into every part of you, through your eyes, through your ears, through your skin. As you sit in nature, allow yourself to receive the gifts that are available. And just practice allowing the allowing and allowing the mind to relax so that you can receive these gifts.